Hello, welcome back. Festive time. We've got some festive sandwiches today. Uh, we went into Aldi's just as you walk in. They've got all your snacks and like your takeaway bits of food, sandwiches and stuff. And I saw these and thought, hmm, might be worth a review. So we have the meat version. Turkey feast on malted bread. Mmm. And this one, cooked turkey breast with pork, sage and onion stuffing, cranberry chutney, seasoned mayonnaise, cooked smoked streaky bacon and fried onion on malted bread. Ooh, so that's the meaty version. The vegan version is parsnip fritter. Some of you are like, I do like parsnips. With vegan sage and onion mayonnaise on oatmeal and poppy seed bread. And they don't look bad, but... That's the, the vegan one, and that is the meaty one. And also on the back of the vegan one, parsnip fritter with cranberry chutney, shredded apple, sliced cabbage, and sultanas. Oh no, I hate sultanas. With vegan sage and onion mayonnaise, fried onions, and spinach on oatmeal and poppy seed bread. I didn't think that looked too bad, but... No, I know it's got some darnies in it. I don't know. So let's get these open and let's do a festive sandwich review. So, price wise, one ninety nine for the festive, which is the turkey one, and one seventy nine. For the vegan one. And I think we'll do the vegan one first. Because I want to get them sultanas out of the way. Blech. There you have it look. There is quite a lot of filling on them. Um, do you want to have a look inside? Let's have a look inside then. If we can. There is quite a lot going on in there. And it doesn't really smell of anything. You can smell the cranberry. That's about it. Not playing the harmonica. So let's go in. Hmm. Not sure about this. It's sweet. Let's go in again. The little parsnip fritters, which are these things, they're a bit like um, it's like a, a parsnip onion barger. And it has got a slight onion bargy flavour. Mmm. Smells a bit onion bargy and tastes a bit onion bargy. They're not bad. It does look like there's carrots and that onion in there as well. But let's go on. Right, the vegan one. Let's do the rating on that one first. And this is, for me, it's a down. I do like the fritter, the parsnip fritter that's in it. That's quite nice. Uh, like I say, it's like a mini onion barger. But, there's way too much spinach on it for me. And it's sweet from that cranberry. I hope they've not done the same with the turkey one and put that much cranberry on that it's too sweet. I don't like really sweet stuff, so for me... It's a down, I'm afraid, on the vegan one. I can't really see any mayo on it either. I don't know where the mayonnaise has gone. But it would have been nice to do like, um, with them onion bargy type things, do a spicy mayo on it. Still use the, the well, it's not onion bargy, it's a parsnip fritter. But still use those. And, I don't know, just put some iceberg lettuce or something like that in there with the mayo. And a bit of vegan stuffing in there as well you could have done a lot better with that than just whacking a load of spinach in there and cranberry it's a bit sweet so for me that one's a downer on to the turkey one there's your turkey one do you want to have a look inside again oh turkey bacon stuffing and it's all going to fall over Not bad on the filling department. There's not loads of turkey, but there's like two slices, two small slices, and it's proper turkey as well. It's not like sliced ham type. It's proper turkey, turkey meat. 
And bacon looks like this. I can actually see a bit of mayo on it. And it does look again like they put too much cranberry on it. Cranberry, to me, cranberry sauce, I don't mind it. Quite like it on a Christmas dinner. But you only need a bit, don't you? Because it's sweet. It can overpower everything. And it, I'm hoping they've not done the same with this one. Let's get in. Hmm, that's better. But that's the meat, isn't it? I'm not vegan or vegetarian, so... Hmm, the cranberry doesn't seem to be coming through as much on this one. Yet it looks like there's the same amount on. I don't know if they've added something to the vegan one with the cranberry to make it a lot sweeter, to give it more taste. I'm not sure, but just about right on this one. So, the festive turkey one, rated on that one. That one gets a thumbs up. Um, there is a slight butt to that one. And it's going to be down to individual tastes. I wish that the stuffing was a bit stronger in flavour. It's not really coming through that much. I can get the bacon, the turkey, the cranberry. The stuffing flavour is there. But it's not as strong as I like. I like my stuffing really strong. But that would probably do for Fiona as that one is. Because she's not really keen on the, the herbiness in the stuffing. And it's not really strong. So... It's a slight niggly butt, but then again, if you don't like strong stuffing flavour coming through with the herbs, you're going to like it. I like the sandwich, that's why it's got a thumbs up, but I just wish the, the stuffing was a bit more prominent, because I can taste the turkey, the bacon, the mayo, and the stuffing is more of a bat flavour. And there's not loads of stuffing on it, but there's enough. That's all you can say about it, really. Yeah, that's it on that one. Um... Thumbs up on the, the festive turkey one. Just would have liked a bit more stronger stuffing flavour. But again, that's individual preference. So, And on the vegan one, it's I'm afraid it's got to be a down. It's just, it's just sweet. Too sweet for me. You might like that. So I'm not saying avoid it. If you're vegan, at least it's a festive sandwich that you can get your munches on. So not a lot more you can say about that because they're just sandwiches. Just thought it'd be a nice review. It'd be a festive one. Take the pickings out of that. Thumbs up if you like this video. As always, give us, give us the thumbs up. It does help the channel. Pushes us up the rankings a bit and more people find us. Yeah, drop your comments in below. Have you had these from Aldi's? If not, are you going to get them? Are they expensive? Two pound for two sandwiches? I don't know, but at least you ain't had to make it yourself, have you? Subscribe if you're not, it's free. And share the channel. Tell all your mates and your family about them. Say, look, I've just found a channel with an idiot on it. Go and have a look. Hmm. And we'll catch you on the next one. Tata for now.